All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we are looking at the dawn of the Black Friday sales. And uh, first up, we're going to go ahead and tell you about a really cool one that right now is in effect. OK, so the guys over there at Optics Planet are offering a 12 percent off site wide with using the KB32 BF. Not sure why they sent that to me. KB32BF, and that's Kilo Bravo 32 Bravo Foxtrot. Uh, basically, the code will work within the dates above, which is going to be from today to the 28th, which is really cool. Uh, I would appreciate it if you would go over there and visit those guys. They do a lot to support me. Uh, I'll show you this, man. So this is the Legion X5. This is the firearm that I used in that last competition, or a couple of competitions. <laughs> found out that I was not hitting targets on the last two stages of the third day. Uh, when I went and cleaned this guy, okay, and then uh, the next day I did find out that the, the muzzle brake had worked its way loose with the set screws, uh, possibly because the uh, solvent that I was using to clean this guy uh, probably just destroyed that blue Loctite. And on the third day, I did tighten it back up while I was out there, but I didn't check it that day. My brother said, man, don't you pre-flight your stuff? Yeah, you typically do, but being in such a hurry, I didn't. Uh, well, anyway, this guy, when I picked it up this morning, was free-floating. It was just spinning. So, rule of thumb, that was probably one of the reasons why. Big tons of funds and gun. Tons of guns and fun. <laughs> I can never get his name right. Uh, I'm going to put the link down below. He's a really cool dude. Uh, but in any case, uh, he and I were talking. He's like, yeah, that could have been a problem. So uh, with that, one of the other things I want to talk about is the uh, Delta Point Pro. Now, I did a video talking about uh, how I went to the Romeo 1 Pro and then came back and put this one on. But uh, uh, I, the guys from uh, the boys over there at Optics Planet hooked me up with one of these things. And I'm thankful because this is the original optic that came on here. And, uh, but what I want to talk to you guys today, and I thought it would be something of value is some of the things, the hacks that I deal with. So what I did was, and we'll go to the review table. I'm going to show you how I did it. And this is Gorilla Tape. And this stuff right here is very aggressive. Check the picture out. I do have a set of talent grips, which I spent the money on to go ahead and get these. But I'm going to tell you something for the amount of money that I spent these, this is much better, but I want to show you how I did it. So you can see, and I'm going to show you the application. With that, let's get on out to the review table. But don't forget to get over there to the Optics Planet website. Order some stuff. 12% off KB32BF. Okay, and this is applicable to everything except for clearance, blazing deals, ammo, blah, blah, blah. All the cool stuff that you actually need. But, and then, you know, need a bipod or something like that, go for it. So with that, let's get out to the review table. And I'm going to show you how I did this. This is a lot of fun. This is a great pistol. And I'm glad that I found out about that. It does need some cleaning. So with that, here we go. All right, guys. So here we are on the review table. And, man, I can't wait to get back to doing some really fun stuff with these guys. So uh, just to talk about what we were looking at before, the muzzle brake. There's a little set screws right there. We got some blue lock type. We'll go ahead and get that fixed. Uh, this is the old Delta Point Pro, the, uh, the door to the battery. The little thing here. I just released a slide and it went boop like that. No go. Thank God those guys hooked me up with a new one overnight at that thing so we were able to compete. All right, so uh, X5. This thing's bad to the bone. Uh, we're getting ready to put the Armorycraft trigger system in it with all the tune springs, and I'm really looking forward to it because, well, the travel on this thing it, and the reset are all controlled by little screws that you can input on that. So what are we talking about today? If you can see, these are, or this is the grip tape that I use. Now, I bought that through Amazon in this big roll right here. And I can't remember the price of it, but uh, it's it was, it was something that I liked. Uh, so a lot of people have asked me, is that a little aggressive? Because here's the Talon grip, grip tape, as you can see. There is a considerable difference in the two. And what I found is that over t my hands did not hurt. Uh, the grip tape itself, and I went ahead and put it on the magwell here as well, and I'm jumping all over the place. But the reason being is that your hands get sweaty right here, and I need that support right there, okay? Uh, and that's why I put that there. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you uh, a hack instead of ordering the talent grips. Now, am I saying don't order this? No, I'm not saying that. Uh, but what I am saying is that you can make your own. So all these firearms have been cleared. We are good to go. Boom. Shoulder fire, hammer, holster. Okay, so what you do is you take a piece of paper, just like this. Okay, you remember how you used to trace over stuff? You want to put this down just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to trace over some of these items 
the grip so that we can create, well, I'm not even on the grip. Yeah, I am. So there, all right, there's a circle. All right, so what we're doing is we're trying to create an outline of that textured area just like this. As you can see, it's, it's working. It's doing its thing, okay? There's a little area right up here that you have to be cognizant of. But all we're doing is we're looking to create the outline of that textured area so that we can cut it out and create a pattern. And you can do this for all your sides. And the lighter you do it, the better off you're going to be. But you can see the outline of that textured area. Go ahead and bring that down a little bit. There we go. That's a lot better. So now you can see it a little better. But in any case, go ahead and move our hand up there. Continue bringing it down here. That's where this little dip area is right here. I don't really think this is something that's going to get me kicked off of YouTube, but you never know. Tapering that down. Might be better off to use a smaller piece of paper. And there you go. Make sure you got that little round part. Okay, so now if you didn't see it, that's what it looks like. Then we take your, your spouse's shears and we're going to cut that out to create this. Then what you do is you take your tape. Let's go ahead and see if we can tear it. All right. Yeah. Then you put it on the back side of this thing. So you, once you have this, you only need this because all you got to do is flip it over to do another one. As a matter of fact, you see that's what we did. And then you just draw the outline here on the back side of your tape. Just like that. Might want to use a little Sharpie. I've got a really sharp, sharp Sharpie that I use. Hold on, let's move that up so you can see it. And we'll just draw a circle there. Ta-da! You take your wife's shears, you go ahead and cut this thing out, just like this. And guys, I tried some more economical type of tape like this right here. This is the Amazing Works. And the adhesive on there wouldn't hold for anything. Okay, so that's the reason why I went with the Gorilla Tape. And this is not going to be exact. Probably taking, not taking my time on it. And I know there's going to be a bunch of people saying, man, I've been doing that for years. And I'm sure you are. And it's cool. So you'll agree with me that this is a pretty neat idea. And then what you do is you just take a razor knife, cut out the circle. And guys, boom, there you are. Clean the surface really, really well before you adhere to this. And then you probably want to take a hair dryer and heat it up. And there you go. That's what you're going to end up with. Uh, at the end of the 10... Uh, stages. I didn't feel like my hands were in any way discomfort by it. Uh, I'm just excited to find out that this guy needed to be tightened up. Be careful with the uh, uh, the cleaning solvents you use because it'll get rid of your blue Loctite really quick. So with that being said, guys, I hope this was a fun hack. Simple, fun, easy. Uh, is, is it worth it? That's up to you. But I'll tell you what, I like it. I like it a lot. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom comes in a red dot that works. And I'm going to send that guy right back to the factory. And I wish I had been able to do the video out of the process for that, but I wasn't able to. So next up, Armacraft. That's it. Y'all be good. It's KB32. I'm out here. Boom.